Okay, so just um, thinking about preparation for doing a fast scan, often these cases, as I've said, these cases will come in as an emergency, so everything's going to happen fairly quickly uh, and, and the preparation doesn't need to be protracted. Um, but just thinking about the machine, first of all, make sure that you select uh, the relevant preset. So generally speaking, that's going to be some kind of abdominal scanning preset uh, as appropriate for the size of animal you're scanning. Um, so in, in Jasper's case, we'll, we'll do a, a large dog abdomen preset. Uh, make sure you've got the right probe and that that's ready, set up to go. And it's also worth just bearing in mind as well uh, the sort of standards uh, and accepted normal for orientation of the probe. So the probe has a marker on here and that marker corresponds to the marker on the screen which at the moment is on the, on the left. Uh, and the convention is that we have uh, that marker, uh, so the, the left side of the screen, corresponding in longitudinal section views to cranial on the dog. Um, and in transverse views, we have it arranged so that the left of the dog is on the right of the screen and vice versa. Uh, in terms of patient preparation, as I say, we're essentially going to want to make sure that they're as calm and as comfortable as we can make them. That may require uh, some sort of sedation, but typically if that can be avoided, uh, obviously so much the better. Uh, we're going to make sure that they're, they're comfortable um, and we're typically going to have them in lateral recumbency. Um, the, the sort of normal would be to, to try right lateral recumbency to start with unless injuries preclude that. Um, the reason being um, that uh, that's a standard uh, recumbency to have them in for doing uh, an ECG or an echo exam so you can go on and do those if they're required. It also means that if you're going to do uh, abdominocentesis at the end, which you may well need to do if there's free fluid found, then you're going to be doing it from the dependent side, i.e. the right side, and you're more likely to avoid the spleen uh, if, you're, if you're doing that. Sometimes you may not be able to have them in lateral recumbency at all, um, in which case they may, they may need to be in sternal recumbency. You can also do a kind of modified sternal recumbency, so you can have uh, their, their forelimbs and, and their thorax in, in sternal, um, and then you can just turn their hind legs so that their abdomen is, is then in a sort of lateral recumbency as a halfway house. What we don't ever want to do is have them in dorsal recumbency. Uh, they're likely to be painful most of these cases um, and, and may well have some respiratory compromise as well. So dorsal recumbency is a no-no. In terms of getting good contact with, for the ultrasound probe, uh, we can use gel, we will use gel, uh, but also what we want will be some uh, surgical spirit, spirit. So we'll just spray the site liberally with spirit. Um, spirit isn't great for the end of the probe, so just make sure that you also then use plenty of gel um, and also don't forget to clean the probe at the end just to make sure that you, you look after the, the end of the probe. Um, most of the time for speed, um, in these cases are emergencies usually, um, we, we're just not going to clip, clip the hair. All we're going to do is part the hair and put plenty of, uh, of alcohol on. If you have to clip for other reasons, or then fine, or if you're not getting good contact. But usually, parting the hair, plenty of spirit, is, gives a more than adequate picture uh, for, for the purposes of this type of scanning.